WordPress navigation menu tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about WordPress and how you're going to be creating a navigation menu on it in the easiest way. So I'm going to sign you up with WordPress and we're going to get straight into the page editing section where we're going to add a navigation menu. It's really easy and really simple. So please do fully make sure to watch this video till the end. So to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to WordPress.com and here we're going to click on get started. Now, once you click on get started, it's going to ask for an email and whatnot. So in my case, I'm going to be using a temp mail, but you don't necessarily need to follow this step. You can use any external email that you have. It could be Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, or wherever you prefer. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to continue with email. Now it says your email over here. So I'm going to use this email right here. And once we do that, we're going to click on continue. And once you go to continue, it's going to take you to the password installing section. So let me show you what it looks like. Now, from there, it's going to bring you here where it says choose your domains. You can find and claim one or more domain names. Now, if you already have a domain under your name, you can add it right over here by clicking on search. Or what you can do is you can click on use a domain I own. OK, so it all depends on you. Now, in the case that you don't want to find a domain right now and you just want to, you know, continue without a domain and use the stock domain that WordPress gives you, just go ahead and write anything random. All right. And once you write anything random, you're going to click on select and then you're going to click on choose my domain later. Now, from there, it's going to bring you here where it's going to give you the plans to work with. So here are your basic stock plans. OK. So you can obviously start working off with these. You have the beginner plan, explorer plan, creator plan, entrepreneur and enter price. So these are the different plans you can actually start working with and you can actually compare these plan pricings for yourself as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to continue with the free WordPress plan by simply clicking on the get beginner or any other plan you have. It gives you the start plan section but you're going to simply skip it to go to the next step, which is getting the free plan. So let me show you what it looks like. Now, once you've gone through with all those steps, it's going to finally bring you to your dashboard. So this is what your dashboard is going to look like. Pretty basic and pretty simple. Now over here on the left hand side, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to our website by clicking over here. And what this will do is it will open up our actual web page. Now, I already have a template created for me, but you can simply choose any other external template for yourself as well. Now, as you can see, I have this navigation menu over here. So how did I make it? Let me show you. We're going to click on visit site. And once we click on visit site, as you can see, it actually lets us edit different aspects of our page. So you can click on something like change theme or you can even go into the external editing by actually accessing the editor of your page. So either change the theme and keep a theme that works better, or you can simply go over to the editor, which allows you to edit the website that you're currently on as the admin of the work page. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the editor. Now, the best part about the editor is it actually allows you to add different widgets into your page and elements and out of all of those widgets and elements are navigation. So navigation is pretty straightforward. It's right over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on navigation and now it says navigation menus are curated collection of blog that allows visitors to get around your site. So we have these navigations over here now. If you want to add more navigations for that, you're going to need to add pages and to add pages. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to your dashboard. And once you come over to your dashboard, you're going to go on pages. Once you click on pages over here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on add new page. Now, once you click on add new page over here, you're simply going to add the most amount of pages you can or you know whatever amount of pages you want to add like i've added a card page a checkout page and it appeared on my navigation menu by itself so let's say i want to create a store page so i'm going to create this page i'm going to name it store i'm going to publish it and once we publish this this page will automatically start appearing on the main navigation menu so let me show you how it looks i'm going to go over to the editor again. 
So I'm going to go into Appearance Editor. And once we go back to our Site Editor, we're going to see that in the navigation menu on the top right that I showed you previously, the store page is automatically going to be added. Now, in the case it isn't, what you can do is you can simply go over to the navigation tab over here. And once you open the navigation tab, it's going to start giving you the curated tabs on your list. But as you can see right here, the store tab is now added. Now, this is pretty incredible and it's pretty cool that it automatically adds items into my navigation menu straight away. And it really depends on your themes, to be honest, because most themes support navigation menus. If yours does not, then you will probably have to change your theme because you can't add a navigation menu in a theme that will not support it. So when it comes to changing your themes, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to WordPress's dashboard again. And once we come to dashboard in the appearance section where we go to the editor, right above it is themes. OK, and instead of the editor this time, you're going to go to themes if your theme does not support a navigation menu. OK, like if you're not getting a navigation option in the editor, then it for sure does not support the navigation or it could be the case that you haven't created any pages. So always create a page and then check your editor. If it still doesn't give you a navigation menu, then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure to scour through the different navigations and the different templates that it provides you. And each template can be scoured in detail. So let's say I want the info for this. I'm going to click on info. Now, once you click on info, it starts loading in and it actually gives you the proper description and detail on what's supported in this theme and what's not. OK, and if a navigation menu is supported, it will tell you quite clearly. So always go ahead and choose a navigation menu themed page. And even if you're not using it or utilizing it, trust me, always do get a page or theme with a navigation menu. And the reason for that is because at one point you might decide on getting a theme with a navigation menu, but you also like your theme right now. So, you know, that causes a very big confusion and it causes a lot of issues. Now here you can see it says personalize your site right under it. It says create navigation menus, which means that this website supports proper navigations. Now, this is the main idea of how you're going to add navigation menus onto your WordPress and mainly depends on your themes and how you're adding the pages. Now, if you want to choose proper themes for yourself with navigations, I would suggest either Palm, the theme we are on right now, or you could choose Ale. Now, this is Ale over here. Al 